Elder Tony Stewart here on day four of the Vine Daily. As we talk about intentional living, there's something very critical, crucial that you have to do if you want to live an intentional life. And that is letting go of the past. I think about the Apostle Peter. He understood his assignment in the very beginning. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. But then life happened to Peter. There came a moment in Peter's life when he denied Christ. Then there was another point in his life where Jesus asked him, do you love me? Peter says, yes. And he said, feed my sheep. Now, a lot of us will be like, wait a minute, hold on. Upon this rock I built my church, I'm good. I got what I need. I got it together. But then I denied you. So now I'm dealing with the guilt of my actions. You can't build your church on me, Jesus. Not upon what I'm saying. Not on that statement that I made, Jesus, because I denied you. I denied your very existence. And now you're coming to me asking me, do I love you? And you know I love you. And you're giving me an assignment to feed your sheep, the very one that denied you, we got to show ourselves some grace. We got to leave room for error as we live intentionally. We would not have what we have in the Bible if Peter did not let go of the past. So I want to encourage you as you live intentionally to show yourself some grace, to leave room for error for yourself. And when God gives you that assignment, he's not going to take it away. Give yourself some grace. Let go of the past and get back to living intentionally. I'm Elder Tony Stewart, Divine David.